Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Kelly and I love to make makeup videos. Today I thought that I would do a foundation review on the new Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Tint. The reason why I'm doing this is because I was walking around Harman's the other day, which just seems to be where I'm finding all the new makeup, and I saw this and I was like, oh, I've never seen anyone talk about this before. So when I searched it up on YouTube, there's a few other foundation reviews but not really a ton so I thought that I would try it for you guys today and something that really drew me into it was the fact that it was the hydro boost I have normal skin but if anything it tends to be a little bit dry especially in the winter time so when I saw the hydro boost I was like oh my god I love the hydro boost skin line that they have speaking of the skin line I'm gonna take the Neutrogena hydro boost gel cream and I'm just gonna put that under my eyes I already moisturized my face by the way I'm just adding the eye cream Typically I do that probably 90% of the time that I do my makeup I apply that cream before but I never put it in my videos just because I feel like it's pretty boring. This claims to moisturize and plump skin for 24 hours and it also says it has hyaluronic acid in it which is great for moisturizing and hydrating the skin. I got the color 40 Nude which I hope matches me. I mean it looks pretty light in the can next to me but now that my hair is out of the way I'm going to take the foundation and first of all it has a doe foot wand I'm obsessed with that I'm in love with the Clinique Beyond Perfecting and it has like a little doe foot applicator this is great for anybody who works early in the morning or who's not just early in the morning but like who's always in a rush to get ready for work I know personally for me I use that one up so fast because I just grab for it every single day dot it around my face blend it out done you don't have to worry about pouring it, you don't have to worry about pumping it out, literally just dot it on your face, blend it out, and you're completely done. This is a plus already for me. But I have to say, when tell that the doe foot isn't getting as much product as it gets with the Clinique one. It does have the exact same amount in it, it has one fluid ounce, but I just mean like on a specific applicator when I just pull it out, I don't think that it gets as much product. How much product you get with just one pull out. This is as much product as you get out of the Clinique one. This one is the Clinique, and then this one is the Neutrogena one. It might just like seem like it has less product. I don't think that it actually does now that I'm looking at both of it, but who knows. This was also $14.99 at Harman's, so if, and I actually had a coupon, so I got it for even less. But if this works, I mean, compared to the uh, Clinique one's only 27 I believe. I'm not sure how much it is, but it's definitely, like, not as expensive as a lot of the other foundations that I have. But I always am looking to save some money, so if this one's better, it, it's definitely at least $10 less than, Cl than the Clinique one. It looks like it's going to be a little bit too late for me, or a lot too late. I'm sure by the time I blend it out and stuff, it'll look a little bit better. So yeah, I can definitely tell that I'm not getting as much product on my face as I do typically with the Clinique one. I also have a brand new beauty blender, and how beautiful is it? I love using new beauty blenders. <laughs> okay, so immediately, it looks like these dots have settled into my face before I've even gotten a chance to blend them. I feel like there's no pigment coming out. It looks like it's not covering anything up, let's be real. Okay, it's honestly blending really patchy. I'm not loving this so far. I'm so used to that like full coverage look that this is definitely throwing me off. Like look at that, it's not even covering. I'm definitely gonna get, gonna have to go in with a second layer because that barely covered anything. It looks like a good color though, or a decent color. Let's try it again. Let me just blend it out right away. Okay, that's a little bit better, but it's still, as you can see here, you can still see like redness in my blemishes which a lot of the times my foundation covers that up and I don't have to go in and color correct but 
if I was to wear this foundation, I would have to color correct because that's like really bad red. And that would take up the time it would take just to blend another full coverage foundation out. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about that right now. And I would recommend blending it out like as soon as you put it on your face because I'm putting more. <gasps> I'm putting like a lot because it like seeps into your skin. I mean, it's not like a terrible finish. I actually kind of, I'm not minding the fact that it's not full coverage. It's just I was like expecting it to be like the Clinique one. And it's so different. The Clinique one is so full of coverage. I definitely have to say, like, my forehead part was the worst of blending at least the first layer in. I haven't done the second one yet, but my forehead was definitely the worst as far as, like, how patchy it was. Okay, it's definitely looking better with the second layer. Okay, so after fully blending it out, I actually am starting to really like it. The only thing is, I, I realized after I like filmed this entire like part of me applying it and stuff, I realized it does say hydrating tint. So, I shouldn't have really been expecting a full coverage foundation because it literally says tint. So, I don't know why I didn't process that but as far as a tint like if you're looking for a really light coverage foundation that you could wear let's say to work or on an everyday basis or even to school this definitely is a great foundation or hydrating tint like wow <laughs> after it's like set into my skin I'm really liking it and I'm actually liking the fact that you can still see the imperfections on my face underneath because I don't know, it just looks, I feel like I look younger, not younger, but like I feel like I look youthful. Guarantee it's because it's hydrating. I did a few other foundation reviews of, of drug, new drugstore foundations. I did the Wet n Wild one and then I also did the L'Oreal Total Cover. So I'll have those linked here and also down in the description bar. If, you're, if you thought that those two were a little bit too full coverage for you for an everyday basis, try this. I'm definitely going to wear this to like the gym or school or something because it's really lightweight. It makes you look like you have this flawless complexion even though there are a few like imperfections like I you can see my blemishes still here and you can see like obviously that one there and you can see my freckles on my forehead but like it looks hydrated it looks youthful it looks it looks like a natural flawless if you know what I mean I don't know what to say I just love it so far I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup and then I'm gonna come back I'm going to tell you guys what I think of it after that. I'm going to do kind of a really simple everyday look because I don't want to have this like dramatic makeup with this super natural looking base. So I'm going to come back after I finish that and finish my review. Okay, so I finished the rest of my face and I have to say guys, it's definitely not as full coverage as I'm used to, which... Obviously, we figured out because it's a tint, not a foundation. However, I have to say it has not creased in my forehead lines. It has been two hours since I've applied this. I finished the rest of my makeup and then I went downstairs and I had some food and whatever. But you guys see how it literally has not creased? Look. Not even a little bit. I mean, by now, typically it is like really bad. So, like I said, for a foundation or a tint... Just to wear to school if you want like a really light coverage or to wear to the gym or whatever, something like that. This rocks, honestly, guys. I wish there was like something bad that I could say about it, but just the fact that it didn't crease into my forehead lines make this entire thing worth it. The fact that it's only $14.99 also. So if you are in the market for a BB cream or a tint or some kind of light coverage foundation, check this one out. It is awesome. Yeah, I will have this linked down below so you guys can check it out. I also, like I said, I found it in Harmons, but I believe they also have it in CVS. 
Not sure about Ulta. I don't think they have it in Ulta yet. That's all that I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below on whether you have tried this tint or not and if you are interested in picking it up. And also subscribe to my channel if you liked this video. Get to the end of the video and I will have a picture of me pop up and you could just scroll over that and click subscribe there. And I will also have a link to my previous videos. I have other drugstore foundation reviews. I have them linked in my description box. So go check that out if you're interested and yeah that's all I have for you guys today I will see you guys in my next video bye